What is up guys, GCMSE here and welcome to the very first episode of my train series on FIFA 13. This can be road 250k, it was initially going to be road to a player uh, in specific but the, the prices of the players are like going up and down so much that it's pretty hard to determine who to go after and in all honesty I'd rather get coins built up first and get to one player in particular because then I can build a team uh, but I've realised this is on my main account which is quite annoying for the fact that I've got, uh, tomorrow the early release comes out uh, for all my team and I'll be making a team and uh, playing matches so that could affect this but if you guys don't have any suggestions I could try, like turn this into a Road to Glory um, kind of style thing uh, let me know in the comments because that means uh, I could play games working up to the target 250k and then I could go on to like 500k and so on and um, that'd be pretty cool as it showed basically my whole YouTube, uh, YouTube? <laughs> hey, old my team journey because um, I, I just like the idea of me playing on my main account and uh, recording the games and then putting the videos out for you guys so, so you can see uh, from me from the very beginning um, because I, I, this train is basically me from the very start, uh, just after my packs that I got, um, and the, the train at the moment, I'm, I'm on to episode 3 I think now, uh, that's what I'm up to, and it's going really well, I'm, I'm very happy with some of the deals I got. Uh, this first episode though, get I've noticed this year on Ultimate Team, getting the first 10k is the hardest part, once you reach 10k and above, it, it's a lot easier to do trading. Um, I've got two like main techniques in particular, um, I may release them with you guys in a couple of days. Uh, I just want to get the most out of myself first. It sounds a bit um, harsh, but uh, it's, it's basically, I found a technique that works really well. Uh, you, you will actually see it in the next uh, episode. You'll see me using it as I do show that, uh, like, uh, now I'm trying to show you the method that I'm using. Uh, I basically, it's basically common sense, really, because I'm just searching for a player in, um, that I find and then search him up, put a bid on him if he's cheaper, and then uh, undercut the lowest buy it now. Uh, this tends to work nine times out of ten, but. The, uh, the this was this was recorded two days ago now I think, and the silvers were very very hard to offload. Um, but before uh, like when the game comes out, this will be a very good technique. The uh, I used these on FIFA 12, and it's like basically just silver max price 1,000 or 1,500, and then you get the deals from there. But the thing is though on this because people are currently trying to either get the money in, uh, they're going for gold players or they're trying to build a team, so they're not in particularly looking out for the random players to trade with. Uh, but when the full game come, uh, comes out, I assure you that uh, the method will work and it'll work uh, fine as well. But there's two deals. I was, I'm, I'm not really talking about the deals I get, but you'll be seeing them on the screen. But there's another one. I just searched a, f a good formation such as 4 2 2 or 4 4 2 and uh, Premiership. And I got Ashley Williams there. It's not much of a profit at all, but it's just doubling your coins every time it works. Uh, so it's quite nice. The, but there's one other thing, a massive tip I can give you guys. If, if you feel that you've overpaid for a player by a couple of hundred coins, take the loss. As if you keep dwelling on trying to get that coins out of it, uh, you're eventually going to end up making more of a loss. I found this out on um, a Sadie. Uh, you see my, my trade pile. I actually picked him up for 3.6k by now. I eventually sold him for 3.3. That's only a 300 coin loss, I know, but um, I, I, it took me a while to realise that I was trying too hard to try and get the... Um, uh, trying to get him to sell for a profit. It wasn't working, so I just decided to stick him up for a uh, cheaper than um, I was expecting to sell him. He did eventually go, but I just went, there's an, there's another couple of things. Uh, there's some they're all good formations and players I just bought all four four two or four one two one two, and uh, I think they're all non shiny as well, apart from Diego Lopez, the goalkeeper. Uh, he's a very good player to trade with. Uh, I recommend him. Um, league of BVA, yeah, got to go with Japes here. It's such a good league to trade with. The golds in there are unbelievable. Um, they go for quite a bit, and they're generally quite easy to sell. As uh, Barcelona have a lot of players, such as Christian Teo, and uh, if you could pick him up for cheap, he is generally quite easy to sell uh, instantly, practically. Uh, there's also Syria, that's a nice lead to trade with. But there's the Diego Alves I got. Um, I got it for 1,900, uh, stuck him up for, I think it was 3,000, I'm not too certain yet. I've, I didn't really get there in time. But this guy, I didn't really make a profit on at all. Um, uh, if anything, I made back about 50 coins, so it's, it's next to nothing. Uh, but here is my like kind of the end of the episode, guys. They're the last five items I buy. I did get Daniel Aga here for three thousand four hundred. Got a Ross County badge there because I'm a jeek. It has Ross on it. Um, there's the stuff that sold. Zelio actually finally sold. Um, but yeah, the players I bought, are, I'm quite happy with, guys. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, these will be daily, and I could do bonus episodes if, if you guys want them. So thank you for watching this video. Please drop a like, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.